and lovelies, today we'll be working on a little crochet dash wound and we'll get started on the face. Start with a magic ring, pull up the loop and then make six single crochets into the magic ring. So let's pull that in tight. The second row is two single crochets in each stitch around for a total of 12 stitches. Okay, mark the last stitch. Okay. Now to secure the tail, pull up your working yarn of bit and then go to into any stitch and pull up the tail and make a little slip knot. And you can repeat that multiple times. I like to do it about three times is enough. You can crochet over it, you will never see it. And the tail is never going to come loose either. Okay. So now for the third rows one, two, three, and four single crochet stitches. For the third and fourth row, just single crochet in each stitch around. So that is 12 single crochet stitches. Okay, so for row 6, we're just going to single crochet in the next 15 stitches all the way around. For row 5, single crochet in the first 3 stitches. and increase in the fourth. Repeat this sequence three times for a total of 15 stitches. Okay, for row seven, you will single crochet four and increase. And this sequence you will repeat three, three times in total. For row eight, you will make six single crochet stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And six increases. One, and increases two single crochet stitches in one stitch. Two, three, five, and six. And six single crochets for a total of 24 stitches. Row 9 and row 13 you will single crochet in each stitch around for a total of 24 single crochet stitches. Now that we've completed row 13 we can place the safety eyes 
Now look for your first increase and put it just above the first increase and the last increase of I want of row eight. Okay, and secure them in place. You don't want them coming loose. For row fourteen, you will make one single crochet and invisible decrease. And this is the decrease that's worked into the front loops only. Okay, so this is the decrease will be the beginning of your repeat. Make two single crochet stitches. So now you will repeat decrease two single crochet stitches five more times. After repeating it five times, that sequence five times, you will have three stitches left on your row. Now that will be one decrease and one single crochet for a total of 18 single crochet stitches. It's the same as doing two single crochets decrease and then ending on a decrease, but because I moved the stitches a little bit around it doesn't seem to leave big spaces big holes between the stitches when you decrease for row 15 you will single crochet decrease and you will repeat this sequence six times now you can stuff the head before you close off and use a little bit by a little bit of stuffing each time so it doesn't end up clumpy. It's easier to put a little bit in instead of a whole heap. If you feel your finger is too thick to get into the snout, use the back of your crochet hook. Now for the last row, row 16, make 6 decreases, all in the front loops. You can now close the gap using a darning needle. And just weaving it in. And pull tight. Now secure the tail and hide it away. Okay. Now that it is worked through the piece a few times is not coming loose so you can safely cut the tail and tuck it away. Now for the ears let's start with a slip knot. And chain seven one two three four five six and seven and start from the second chain from the hook. Okay, and make five single crochet stitches. One, two, three, 
four and five you will see you have one more chain stitch left yarn over and make five half double crochets in the same stitch one two three four and five And you'll see that you have turned the corner and you just work on the opposite side of the chain you made and make five single crochet stitches one two three four and five chain one and turn on row two you will make five single crochet stitches one two three four and five two half double crochet stitches one two and three double crochet stitches on the next stitch one, two, and three, two half doubles, and five single crochet stitches. You can cut your tail Pin it to your doggy's head Just be careful I've just tricked myself I'm sorry Okay. Now that you have both ears pinned to the head, see the middle tail, the one that you didn't crochet with, when you crocheted over, just take it to the back of the head for both ears. It's just a little bit of extra security, in my opinion. Make sure that they come both come out at the same same hole. Knot them together. And snip them away. They're not coming loose and you know that they're, they're gone, they're away. So now you can start sewing the ears. Oh, sorry. is one ear and now for the second ear okay so let's finish the face with some white yarn go in just under the eye And 
embroider around the eye. This will make the face look a little bit more lifelike or cuter. You can readjust your stitches. If it's not what you like, then just pull it out. Nothing is permanent yet. You can also use a thinner yarn to make it look even better. Now let's finish off the face with a small piece, with a thin piece of white yarn. Just embroider around the lower corners of the eye. To make sure that they are even. And finish it off. This is not going to come loose. <clears throat> now for the snout. Just embroider a little triangle on the tip of his nose. Find where you want to make your triangle. Mark it out. And just embroider. You can make the nose as big as you want or as small. Finish it off by making two knots. And hide away the two pieces. And there you have the little face all ready and done. Now for the body. Let's get started. Start with a magic ring. Make six single crochets into the magic ring. Five. And pull it tight. 
Row number 2 is 6 increases all the way around. So it is for a total of 12 single crochets. Lock the working yarn. And secure the tail with a few slip knots. And don't worry, you can just crochet over them and you won't see them at all, I promise. And it's not coming undone in the wash either. 403, one single crochet, one increase, and you will repeat this sequence six times. Okay, so row four is going to be one single crochet, and then you will start a sequence of one increase and Two single crochets and you will repeat the sequence of one increase two single crochets five times around until you have three stitches left pardon me until you have two stitches left you will make your last increase and one single crochet to have a total of 24 stitches now from row two, 5 up to row 17, you will make 17 single crochet stitches in each stitch around. From row 5 to row 17, 24 single crochet stitches in each stitch around. Now for row 18, you will make one single crochet and start the sequence of one decrease remember in the front loops only and two single crochets now you will repeat this sequence of a decrease and two single crochets five more times until you have three stitches left and I promise this time really it's just three stitches okay and I'll see you when we have three stitches left see we have three more stitches left so in these three stitches you will make one decrease and one single crochet. Let's do them together. You should now have a total of 18 stitches. You can start stuffing the body, but do not overstuff so that when you get to the next row that you will pull stuffing along as you crochet. Again, it's easier just to fill it little bit by little bit. And as you close up the body, you can always add a little bit more stuffing as needed. For a 19, you will make one single crochet and one decrease. And you will repeat this sequence six times around for a total of 12 stitches. Add a bit more stuffing. And this will be the last row. And it will be six decreases, all in the front loops. <laughs> 
fasten off and you will see you can still add a little bit more stuffing there but the hole is so small so you can just add little bits and with the sharp edge of your scissors just push it in you want the body to be nice and firm so that the head has somewhere to hold on to when you sew it I think that should be enough. You don't want to push the stitches open either, so that should be enough. Let's close the gap. You notice that I left a long tail when I cut off, cut the yarn off. This is because I will use this yarn to sew the head onto the body as well. Okay. Before we close the hole, let's just get rid of. The stuffing that might poke through, just push it in a bit more and pull tight. Secure the tail. And just go in with your needle and bring it up just as where the neck should be, more or less. And you can also just make a small knot to secure it in place. Bring your doggy's head over. Position it so that it looks right. And then secure it with a few pins. Remember, you're working with a small objects so it is easy for you to prick yourself I've done it multiple times and yet I never learn I wonder why okay so now that that you are happy with the head that it's secure you can start sewing okay so the yarn is in the body then just go into the head and into the body and just sew like that all the way around and this will secure the body and the head now that the head is secure just pull the tail out somewhere on the back and put it aside and let's get started on the doggy's tail the tail is a small part so it might feel a bit fiddly and difficult to work with but that's about it it's only small so you start with four single crochet stitches into a magic ring and pull it tight and for row Two, you will make four single crochet stitches all the way around. See what I mean about that? It's fiddly. If it feels like it's going to go into the wrong side, in the wrong direction that it's curling into, just take your scissors 
and push it back out so it has a nice sharp point. You can mark your last stitch. Okay, and also secure the tail. I keep forgetting to do this on the smaller parts. Okay, so for row number three, you will start with an increase and make three single crochet stitches. One, two, that's an increase. One, two, and three. You should now have a total of five stitches. And for row number four, just make five single crochet stitches all the way around. Fasten off okay and you can hide the beginning tail because the tail is so small there's no need to really stuff it Just hide the tail. Now, with your doggy facing away from you, making sure that it is in line with the snout, pin the tail in place, and you can sew it to the body. Secure the tail. So into the body and come out where the other yarn strand is. You can knot them together. I don't know, I just like to do it this way because it feels more secure. I know it's already secure with sewing. But it's just an habit. And for me it's easier to hide the tails if it's two or three together instead of just one one. Okay. And then push it into the body. Because I feel like the resist the, the resistance between the two of them, this side and this side's pieces of tail, won't let them come out. We are almost done. We have four paws left to make and then we are done with our doggy. So, so again, one magic ring with six single crochet stitches inside. Two, Secure the tail early on before I forget. And for row two to row four, you will make six single crochet stitches all the way around. 
one, two, three, four, five, and six. And I will see you when we have four balls. Now that I have all four balls, we can pin them in place, slightly stuff them and pin them onto the body. And you can sew them in place once you are happy with all four, all four of them. That are in the right position. The neighbor's kids are playing outside. I'm not sure if you can hear them. So now you can sew them in place. Just in and out. Just find the rhythm and sew them. I know this is the worst part about amigurumi. It's when you have to sew the limbs and small pieces together. But when it's done, it's done. And I will see you when I have all four legs all sewn on. And there we have it. Our little doggy is finished. Now you can add a keychain and any accessories like the ones in the written pattern, like the flower or the bow or even the collar, the bow, any, any accessories you like. You can leave it as is and it's a cute little pocket bait for children who have anxiety.